In these videos, we're going to go over split testing using the Google Analytics experiments feature. So what we want to do is improve our conversions by making changes to our sales page and then having the pages presented to different visitors. Each visitor will get a different page and then we track the conversions to see which one converts the best. And once we have that information, we can make the change and increase our conversions. Okay, so to do that, you need to use Google Analytics. There are other options you can use, but Google Analytics is very powerful. Now, I'm not going to go over the whole scope of Google Analytics because it does a lot more things, but I'm going to concentrate on the split testing aspect. That's also going to require that we set up conversion tracking. So what you want to do is go to google.com slash analytics and set up your account. You can, first you're going to need a Google account. So you can either create an account here or sign in with your existing Google account. Okay, and then, so you can sign up here if you don't have a Google account. Okay, so the first time you come in, you're going to sign up for Google Analytics. Here you need to tell, tell Google Analytics about your web property. So this is our first time in, that's why it's doing it this way. You can set up more web properties later. You either have a website or you can use apps. So if you have an Android or an iOS app, you can use Analytics as well. So I'm going to be using this Zencart website. So I'm going to just say Zencart videos. Okay, and then the URL, so you just go get it, just copy it out of the bar at the top here, paste it in here, and if you have an HTTP on the front, just get rid of that. Now, it's important that you know whether you're HTTP or HTTPS. HTTPS is secure. Most of the time, that's not going to be the case. If it's just a regular website, you're usually going to be HTTP. Now you need to select the closest industry here for what you're from what you're uh, tracking. Okay, then you need to select your time zone here. So you can pick out of the country here and then you can go to here and pick your time zone. Now you need to set up your account. Your account is actually your account within Google Analytics. So you can give it an account name here, and you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to go and and down here you have data sharing where you want to share it with other Google products. So you can share with things like AdWords and AdSense. It's a good idea to have this on if you use other Google products. And then here, anonymous with Google and others, so you can share data anonymously. I'm going to leave those both turned on. So now we get our tracking ID. First thing we're going to have to do is go through and make sure that we understand and agree to the terms of service. So you should go through here and read these carefully and then accept. If you're not going to accept, then you know, of course you're not going to be able to use Google Analytics. Now, the first thing you need to do is set up your tracking code. And Analytics creates a tracking code for you. And then you'll see this is the one that it's assigned me right up here. So when you roll down here, this is the actual code that you have to put on the website. So this will be on every page you want to track. You're going to put this code on there. You can use a PHP implementation. And this is it right here. Dynamic content in implementation. You, so you use a common include. And the websites. they got different ways of doing it here. But this is the one we're going to use is the JavaScript implementation. When we go back up here, we have website tracking. So we can track by subdomains. We can track by multiple top level domains. This would be like the different suffixes on domains. So .uk, .ca, .org, etc. 
display advertising support. This is a type of remarketing for AdWords. Basically, it will keep track of what people click on and then it will try and represent them the same type of offers and custom campaign tags. But to keep it simple, I have everything on the same domain name so we can just grab this code. Now what we need to do is copy this code to the sales page and any other pages that we have on our flow. Okay, now this product that I'm using here is up on ClickBank. Uh, it isn't actually active yet, but I have it up on ClickBank and it consists of a sales page and a pitch plus page plus a download page for each. So I want to put the tracking code on each of those pages. Okay, so I'm going to add the code to my pages here. So these, this is my sales page and this is my download page for the main product. So I'm just going to do an open with and I'm just going to use notepad for this. Then I'm just going to put it up right near the top here. So right under the head tag, put that in there. And then same here, this is the download page. Okay, and this is my where my pitch plus stuff is, so do the same here. Same with this download page. Okay, now I need to re-upload all these to my server. Okay, so I went ahead and did that. Okay, now let's just go up here. Let's save. Okay, so let's turn on this subdomains of the best info on dot info which is the domain name because if somebody uses www then we want to turn that on now let's click save okay so now it has found the tracking code on our site so now our site is ready to collect the analytics information.